self-attribution bias is when essentially we like to make ourselves feel very clever. So a profitable investment or trade is attributed up to us mentally. It's, it's sort of, it's, I am the reason why I made a profit because of my cleverness, because I spotted something that nobody else spotted. Unfortunately, when a trade goes against you or an investment goes wrong, then that self-attribution bias tends to blame somebody else. It was the broker's fault. It was the analyst's fault. Somebody recommended it to me and it's their fault, not mine. And that's self-attribution bias. The problem with self-attribution bias is that it leads to overconfidence. So if you always blame your losers on someone else, but blame your winners on yourself, then you think you're a genius and a trader, uh, an excellent trader and an excellent investor. And that is not the way to trade or to invest because then you are overconfident, you trade too much and it costs you too much money. Anchoring refers to the sort of human mind's um, focus on one piece of data or one piece of information. So your mind anchors onto one piece of data to almost ignoring everything else. And the problem with that is that it doesn't it doesn't create the ability in your mind to rationally look at all the different pieces of information in front of you. You just focus on one thing. Now that can be a good thing if that one thing is important and the, and, and the share price goes up, but it can be a bad thing if actually there's loads of other data out there that you should be looking at and you're not. So that is anchoring.